before you begin building any real full-size finished mechanical element, you need to start with a sort of testing jig. That would be a low resolution fixture that approximates the general capabilities and the proportions of the character. You can literally just throw together garbage bags and foam core, rods and even coat hangers just to form a study model to basically flesh out your ideas and get a first pass on the established size and shape of something as a point of approval for the artists and the creative people involved. When we were doing our research for the Alien Queen and the movie Aliens, we actually took garbage bags, black tape, black spray paint, and a whole bunch of big pieces of cardboard and foam core and actually built the Alien Queen in one afternoon. And that was simply to give us an idea of size, scope, and scale of the project so that we would have some idea of what it was we were going to actually build and test it in relation to an actual human standing next to it. I do the same thing on almost every project that I'm working on. I've got here two uh, test legs that are duck legs. One of them is just a walking cycle so that it just does the same thing over and over and over again. And the other one is a more puppeteerable thing so you can actually choose when it's hopping how fast to go up and down or whether you want to stop and pause for a second. And they're just two different ways to create a point of departure so that you can talk to the creative people you're working with on what is the best path to actually get to your achievable goal. The translation of rotary motion through a pulley is probably the most basic mechanical functionality that you could understand in order to put into a character. We use this in almost any character in any situation that you're going to build. It's an eyelid, it's a tongue, it is the translation that you need to understand in order to actually build a mechanical creature. Rotary and linear motion are the two most basic tenets of any creature effect that you are ever going to build. So you would need to take a sphere, which is exactly the same size and shape as your mechanism, that is actually pressed into the back of the clay and give you a void, the actual space that is held out in the back of the skin to seat the mechanism somewhere to glue it down for the final motion. And because you're the person that built the character, that built the mechanism inside the creature, you're the person that has the best working knowledge of the strengths and limitations of what that character and creature can do. So if there's someone that's going to give that ultimate perfect performance, it can be you.